In this discussion, you can see how to create reference field. If you missed previous discussion related how to create monetary field, please check link is given in description. Before we start to create reference field, we need to understand why this field is very important and in which case we need to use this type of field. Well, Odoo provides a dynamic field which is known as a reference field. If I am telling you this field is many to one relational field, you will not believe me but yes, this is many to one relational field. Let's see the diagram. The main difference is in left side you can see the student this class this model having the two ids id and school underscore id but this school underscore id is specially reserved for school underscore reference model which we previously discussed but what is the difference between relational id relational field so you can see in this middle of this image this class having one field which is relational field but based on the condition or based on the user input it will convert into different type of many to one yes let's say in this example you can see one is an invoice model another is a school model so based on the conditions or user behavior like user can select specific model and specific record to this reference id so this one field will handle these two models and uh, here the database schema is like this like this many to one field like data schema is integer but in this case a reference id having a string schema and it will store model and model id so now let's see how to create reference id and you can see what is the difference between this normal many to one field and this relational id like a relational field now you can see this is our editor and now going to create one reference field ref underscore id equal to fields dot here we have to use reference and in reference we must have to add at least more than uh, at least one model but in this case we have to use list of dictionary yes in previously you can see in in this many to one we are always using the model name directly like school dot profile like this way but in this case we have to provide model in list of dictionary let's create first school dot profile then after comma school or the comma then after here we will use account dot move and invoice right now we will use this two model in this reference id field and yes we are using uh, as a string attribute to display in front end side reference field now going to view in python side we will add one more field is ref underscore id that's it going to again in python file you can see this reference field is combination of many to one and selection field if i'm going to in schools in models and you can see here the selection box having a some similar like this one this is for user purpose you can add anything it will store zero index in database side so similarly it is working like this way like school dot profile it will store store into backend side so same way like zero index will store into database side along with the specific id now going to terminal and open the database first select id ref id from school 
underscore student if I'm execute this one it will be it will having it will rise one error because this ref ID is not exist right now for a double check now terminate the process and trying to upgrade the module going to browser and refresh the page going to school student profile going to xyz this student you can see this reference field is available here you can see this one combo box is available school or inverse if i will click to school you can see directly having all the existing records like total five records is available and uh, also you can also create from here if I'm just clicking to first school and save, you can see that field will be hide. If I'm again edit, you can see these two fields. Discard, edit. This is a normal many to one field, and this is a reference field. This is similar like this one. And this is similar like selection blocks. So this is a combination a combination of selection plus mini to one field. And if I'm going to terminal and in database schema and uh, will add that ID where we added one schema. So you can see here this is school dot profile. Then after comma, then after one, one is ID of that uh, primary key. So like this way it will work if i'm going to again browser and select to invoice you can see it will automatically blank and if i'm going to here you can see there is no any invoice created for the double check you can see go to invoicing part you can see here there is no any single invoice available i'm going to here again and select the customer and add any small product test after sell and going to this is our draft one I will post so it will generate one number so you can see this one going to school profile invoice and you can see here this invoice number also display and once sell you can see only many to one field is visible that selection box is invisible again going to terminal and re-execute the same query you can see there is a many questions like if I like user will by mistakenly add uh, unknown model or unknown string here then what happened you can see here what happened during if we will add any unknown model something like this going to terminal going to here stop the process and trying to upgrade so it's upgrading successfully once I will refresh the page click to here and try to add this one you can see it will having a direct impact like this account dot move dot this one is not available so while upgrading this module there is no any error will rise while clicking to this many to one field it will rise the error now going to editor try to use supported attributes we already see this string attribute which is for GUI purpose one more attribute is read only by default it's false and uh, once you will add as true so user will not add anything here going to terminal 
and uh, only need to restart the service and refresh the page so now and click here you can see it's a read only so like this way you can also add one more attribute is help which will use for tooltip this is reference field going to terminal restart the service and refresh the page before refreshing the page you can see if i'm hover here in the field name you can you can see here there is no nothing happen anything refresh the page going here and you can see here this is reference field so like this way you can also add a tooltip going to editor and using one more command is required required equal to true by default it's a false and supported data type is boolean so once i will add required equal to true if this ref id is blank then uh, odoo will rise one pop up message from front end side to add th this field is mandatory going to terminal restart the service going to browser and refresh the page edit you can see the color also change if i'm going to uncheck uncheck and try to save you can see reference field is mandatory going to again pycharm you can also add this list as a selection equal to like this way you can also add refresh restart the service refresh the page so you can see there is no any error but it's actually the good practices you can just add selection equal to and then after list of tuple now going to view side form view and trying to apply the same attributes in xml side so you can see here the reference field in browser label is reference field now we are also trying to replace this field using form view string as a same attribute and here we are applying as a ref field that's it now we have to upgrade the module also going to browser and refresh the page ref id also color also changed you can see it is not now mandatory but if you want to add as a mandatory this field it is also possible from xml side you have to use only required equal to 0 or 1 0 means false and uh, 1 is true by default is 0 going to terminal and upgrade the module once refresh the page like refresh will done you can see the color also change so now if i'm trying to sell odoo won't be allow me to sell one more one more attribute is read only once refresh will done you can see this field i user can't edit edit 
so you can see here it's invisible now now going to pie chart and one more attribute is invisible once i will apply this attribute equal to one means true and upgrade the module going to browser and refresh the page you can see here this ref field will not visible anymore in this form view so you can see here it won't be visible here so like this way also you can hide now going to PyCharm and going to model one more attribute is default it will help while creating new record it will allow to add default value so simply we have to use we are using as a selection so either we have to use this one or this one let's see account dot move now going to terminal only restart the service refresh the page so I can't create this one because by default we only added account.move model name but not we, we didn't add any id so simply we will use as a comma and then after id is a one just assuming so in your case you have to add uh, create one method and call from lambda i'm just using as a static id so please don't do this static code uh, this is for education purpose I'm going to terminal and refresh the page I'm going to browser and refresh the page so you can see here by default selected account and ID is one but what if if I will add here non-existing ID as a three and restart the service again discard this one and try to click to create button so you can see if the id model uh, either model or id is not correct it won't be auto select here if i'm using here one and school dot profile cell terminal restart the service and simply discard and trying to create so you can see here the school and first school is available so like this way you can also practice from your side and based on your requirement you can also add and if you have any doubt please comment below and see you in next video